Hey, it's Sam, and I'm talking about Mars in Sagittarius. So when Mars is in Sagittarius, we're bringing this quality of a sort of passionate defense of our principles, which is Mars, into the area of life where there's inspiration, purpose, um, a quest for meaning, which is Sagittarius. So you can see how these things can line up really quite well. Mars does very well in Jupiter's signs. Because Mars is where we're fighting for something. And we're all fighting for something. So if someone has Mars and Sagittarius in their natal chart, or if Mars is in Sagittarius in the sky, there's a sort of passionate pursuit and defense of what inspires us, what's inspiring, what is worth pursuing and not giving up on. And see, that's what, that's what Sagittarius is. Sagittarius is that those inspirations that help us overcome our negativities and our deeper fears and our imagined fears and our pathologies and our, you know trying to control things all of those things from Scorpio those negative qualities of Scorpio that need to be transformed are elevated and brought into the realm of meaning in Sagittarius so for instance with Scorpio it's, we become aware that people are going to leave us, people lie to us, people cheat on us. We can never know for sure what's going to happen. We can't control situations and people, all people we know are going to die one day. And it's painful. It hurts us. It's that fixed water where we're trying to stabilize our emotional responses. And we feel that that depth of pain and emotion in Scorpio and we want to try to control situations we try to control situations but we often wind up losing control of ourself especially as we try to control others and try to control and manipulate situations in a negative sense in Scorpio what happens is that sort of pathology has a release in Sagittarius where we look for a higher purpose higher meaning and we find that in things like in a mundane sense things like religion or if not formal religion like gurus and teachers and metaphysics and just a just a quest for meaning and purpose reaching that chasm of confusion and pain and fear of Sagittarius, of Capricorn rather, makes us look for something higher than that. And indeed, if we can't find it, most of us f find some way to be inspired. But when we don't, this is why people kill themselves when they just get so stuck in emotional pain and desperation and despair and they can't get out of it most of us find some meaning and purpose and realize something if you're alive you found some meaning and purpose that's what Sagittarius is it doesn't mean you're religious. It doesn't even mean it's a good meaning or purpose. Sagittarius is also the sign of corrupt purposes, corrupt meanings, corrupt inspirations. Like, you know, I use the examples, things like white supremacists, you know, you know, racial bigotry. And, for example, can fall in the Sagittarius realm. Like, it's being inspired by something that is very corrupt. It doesn't mean that you get a good teaching 
or a good philosophy, it means you have a philosophy, something that gives you an answer to that which you can't control. That's what Sagittarius is. So again, when Mars is in Sagittarius, we're defending what inspires us, and we're willing to sacrifice for it, maybe even kill for it. We're willing to get in there and fight hard for it. It doesn't necessarily mean that the things are truly inspiring or truly worthy of our highest purpose. We evolve our teachings. But it's also a great time of, get, of course, when Mars is in Sagittarius, when people have it in their natal chart. They'll do a lot of change and transformation around these themes. Or when Mars is in the sky, Mars and Mars is in Sagittarius in the sky during those times, you'll often see we'll challenge our teachers, challenge our beliefs, change and transform them. And again, you know, if we this can make them very strong or it can destroy them if they're weak. So if someone already has teachings and gurus that are congruent with their deeper nature, then let's say when Mars goes through Sagittarius in the sky, they can become much more disciplined about them and much more fervent. If someone's teachings aren't very good or not very congruent with the person's true self, then when Mars goes through Sagittarius, they might transform them by getting into battle with the teacher themselves or with the teachings or find or realize, you know, this is a lot of crap anyway, or, you know, some version of that. So, Mars and Sagittarius brings that desire for, you know, to passionately pursue and fight for what we think is right into that realm of inspiration and purpose where we can renew our enthusiasm for our teachings or realize that those teachings are falling short of our strength and that they're not really making us strong because this is where we'll change our teachings if we realize that they're not actually making us strong. Like let's say that someone's religion is something like white supremacy or you know Aryan nation right or or even just some religion that excludes others some very mundane or conservative or orthodox approach to religion even. Mars going through there may show where they'll be having conversations with someone at their church or the minister will get up and say something and that's very exclusive, you know, and like, well, you know, you know, the blacks are ruining America or you know, the Buddhists are going to hell because they're not Christians, or something that's... And the Mars and Sagittarius person, or part of the person, will be like, get a little fired up about that, and, and you know, argue about it, want to confront, and say, is that really true? And perhaps realize, no, it's not. I'm going to destroy that false teaching. Or, if that type of teaching is congruent with the person, they might be like, yeah, you know what, let's break out the pitchforks. And again, of course, you then you read the capacity to have a good teaching or a corrupt teaching by the natal chart itself. So this is why I speak in this range of potential. But regardless, we're always evolving, even if someone is has teachings that are congruent with their nature and their principles. Mars and Sagittarius, and you're pro you'll probably realize that you're not actually putting it into practice as much as you should be. Let's say if it's a transit, Mars is going through Sagittarius. That's for all of us. So it's a time to really put those teachings into practice a lot more. That's what Mars is. So, very powerful placement. It's very good for Mars and actually having your energies aligned with your teachings and intention.
and it's also good for really strengthening what inspires you.